Hello and welcome to another SG Figure Arts review. Today is SG Figure Arts O's coming out of O's Sagoso Combo. Sagoso. Sagoso. Oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, SG Figure Arts is a new sound of figure series that incorporates the band of action figure arts under the theme pursuing a character expression for human on action. Sagoso Combo. Yep, standardized box, silver, lettering, grey circles, logo, and white, and a picture of the Figure, I believe, not not the suit. Sideways, sideways, top and bottom Japanese edition. No sticker on it. Got the back. I want to take a look? So, cause look at the box out in the instruction manual. You can head over to the Facebook link below. Uh, this is a second-hand copy, which I got for only a hundred and ninety dollars. Seriously, that's really cheap. Uh, the cheapest one I've got, I managed to get, is still ninety-nine dollars for Zeonos. Out. Out, alter form, but uh, this is pretty cheap, and that was first hand. Though. This is second hand, so it's still okay. Underneath the silver backing card, you have the instructions manual, which is still taped in here. So this is new, at least. Which is, you know, it's all that matters. The figure is worthless. It's the instructions manual that we all buy these for. If you want to take a look? Let's look at the instruction manual as well. That will also be on Facebook. That, that, all the SH figure out release, so the top tray folds over to flip the box. Hmm. There we go. Seriously, so all these figures should have come with can droids because uh, if you, um, Slightly lacking. Mm. So, so goes apart from the fist hands that he already has, he has uh, relaxed hands, sword holding hands, and uh, old metal driver scanner holding hand. He's got the uh, scanner and another blade. Oof. We have uh, so many of those. So at no point going through them again, suffice to say, they're pretty accurate. Uh, this scanner is the same as the Tatopa one, I believe. Yep, this one's molded the same as the Tatopa one. There's a bit of plastic there, that's not cool. And, uh, <coughs> Printing is okay. Actually, this might be the best printed uh, O's scanner I've got. All the other ones are silver or slightly different and slightly smudged. Uh, let's look at this sword. See the printing on this one is any better? No. No. Well, the sword's okay. The printing is also slightly dodgy, just like the other ones. And uh, yeah, this one could have really done with some can droids, but no, you gotta buy them separately because money, right? Okay, so, posability, full 360 degrees up there, down, up, two joints, two for the next. Shoulder pad joints, swivel arm, swivel up, oh, whoa, that fell off pretty easily. Well, I guess it has to for you to uh, swap the arms and stuff, but not that easily. Peg back on. Oh, there we go. That's what you get for second hands, I guess. Oh, I think it's on the wrong way around. Nope, that's the right way around. Peg back on. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, up, down, double elbow joint, which is useless because this thing stops his arm turning, and the hand can still turn, still on a ball joint. It can actually swivel quite a lot, which is cool. Torso up, very basic piece here. There's not a lot of pattern going on with this body, unlike the other ones. O's driver is permanently 
glue down with it. Oh no. There was glue and I ripped it out. Can I actually turn? Nope, can't turn. But at least I can now swap the other uh, driver with the other figures to pretend they combo change. Swivel leg, swivel leg. Sideways, can't really move too much. Then again, this is a Sogoso so combo. Uh, double knee joint up, back, sideways. Feet up, back, sideways. I think it's just on a ball peg to be honest. Toes can't go down but can go up. And uh, here's the. Oh, he's got no pattern underneath his feet. Huh, doesn't have the O's pattern at the bottom of his feet. That's weird. And he should, shouldn't he? Like, you know, here's for example the Tachado one at the bottom. Tataba and uh, Shishota combo had it. Hmm. So Kamarada O's Sagosa combo, just like all the other Kamaradas, is a pretty good quality. The molding is really, really nice, and uh, the uh, O's scanner they stays a lot firm, uh, uh, a lot more firmly in the belt than it does on the Tatoba combo. I think only the Tatoba combo has that problem where the uh, scanner is kind of loose and can fall out easily. The uh, actual uh, metal holder, like on the front, can come off but it's not loose at all which is really neat it's actually uh, quite loose on the uh, touch or do combo so it gets points there as well uh, so the figure looks good and and it's just the overall presentation of this figure is good uh, there's no there's not really any sort of bad print anywhere but uh, what I do have to complain about is um, <clears throat> I got this figure for really cheap I got this for 190 second hand but um, I've seen this figure at the same price as all the other combos, really, at 200 something, uh, even up to 300 brand new. Uh, but the thing is, with this one, uh, the accessories are really crap. Like, the hands are just the same hands you get with all the other O's combos, and nothing special there, which is fine. He needs all the hands, those are, those are fine, but you know, they're boring. And his only other accessory is the sword, which, why? He, this, he doesn't really use the sword in this combo. In fact, I was quite happy to have. The sort of Tatoba combo and none of the other combos. What he should have had, for example, is an extra accessory pack, like maybe a cracked floor, but no. Uh, Bandai is actually selling cracked floor effects parts as his own thing for 200 some dollars, which is stupid. Um, he also should have come with an extra leg or a way to uh, attach his legs together when he's doing the scanning charge, when, you know, when he jumps up into the sky and then falls back down. You can kind of do that with his legs right now. But they don't really fit too well. The gimmick toy line allows you to peg the both legs together so they're in a permanent stance and they can do the little ground stomp scanning charge. But this figure, it just doesn't really work. Uh, you can definitely Photoshop it, but um, just seems a bit seems a bit silly. Like that extra pair of legs should have come with here, just like the arms folding or different poses, uh, extra arms coming with the Gokaiju SH figures, for example, for that. So yeah, uh, for the price I paid for, I'm happy. Um, this figure is, the joints are slightly looser than I would have hoped, but I, I would just put some blow tack in there. Uh, I have no idea how much the original owner played with this figure. Uh, but uh, if you're going to get Sargoza combo, then, um, I mean it's a good looking combo. I, I like all the O's combos, I'm slowly trying to get them all now. Uh, because O's is finished in Hong Kong, which means the figures will hopefully start dropping in price. And some of them have, like this one, it's only 190 uh, So. Yeah, um, I waited a long time to uh, get these O's combos, and uh, I'm, I'm pleased with this figure, but, you know, just little tidbits that could have been improved. Uh, if you're collecting O's combos, this one is definitely okay. Uh, just, you know, don't pay too much for it. Don't don't pay over £20 for it, for example. Uh, and then you got to think about the postage. So, yeah. Uh, subscribe, just comment below, and guys, take care, and have a nice day. Bye.